evening. I'm Christine Johnson. I'm Maurice Dubois. A man wanted in connection to a murder at a Soho hotel is behind bars tonight in Arizona. And police say that he could be responsible for attacking another woman nationwide. The suspect has a history of arrest in Arizona, Florida, Texas, and is now wanted in New York. A key piece of evidence that connected him to the crime here was this clear security image of the suspect apparently wearing distinct leggings that police say belong to the victim. CBS 2's Jenna DeAngelis live in Soho tonight with the timeline of how this all happened. Jenna. Maurice and Christine, the NYPD says after the homicide here, the suspect flew to Arizona and allegedly committed more crimes. And police believe there could be more victims around the country. I'm sure that we let communities around the country know that they should be aware of who this person is. The NYPD with a plea, if you've had contact with this man, Rod Amansure, call police. The 26-year-old accused of two stabbings in Arizona where he was arrested. While in the custody of Arizona law enforcement, he informs them that he is wanted for homicide in New York City and tells the cops that they should Google Soho 54 Hotel. On February 8th, 38-year-old Denise Olias Aranspia was found dead inside a room by a hotel employee. A broken iron was recovered at the scene and recovered bits of plastic that were found embedded inside of her skull. Investigators say the pair had been in contact prior to meeting at the hotel, and it seems there was a dispute over the time he was allowed to stay in the room. Police sources say he left the hotel wearing the victim's leggings and believe it was because there was blood on his clothing. The NYPD points to an extensive out-of-state arrest history, the most notable in April in Florida. Where he kidnapped and sexually assaulted a female. He was arrested on that charge and later posted his bail. Police breaking down a timeline leading to his latest arrest. On January 26th, he allegedly purchased a plane ticket from Florida to New York. They say his credit card was used on January 29th in New York City. On February 6th, police say he visited an escort in Upper Manhattan. Within the next two days, there was the homicide at the Soho Hotel. On February 12th, he flew to Arizona where police say he committed two more crimes. He committed a knife point carjacking in Phoenix, Arizona, where he stabbed his female victim. He managed to escape that scene. The very next day, in Surprise, Arizona, he dragged a female employee of a McDonald's into the ladies' room, held her against her will, and stabbed her several times. He was then arrested, police say, driving a stolen car. And we're told the Manhattan District Attorney's Office sent a team to Arizona to work on extradition. The NYPD says it's working with the FBI to see if he's connected to other crimes. We're live in Soho. Jenna DeAngelis, CBS 2 News. Okay, Jenna, thank you.